Okay. Okay. I know. Hey, residents of People Town. Today we are going to be talking about our top ten board game apps. Apps. I like that, yes. don't you? Yeah, we do. I do. Dude, I do. I'm not gonna lie. I just got hungry thinking of some apps, baby. Really? That's Dude, my stomach is literally growling right now. I don't know if you can wow. hear it on the microphone or not. I I cannot. I don't know my why. Mouth, that would make I got saliva in my mouth. I might not be able to talk. I don't know what. I, I think we may have to just. What is? Move on. Like appetizers? Is that yeah, what you're thinking? Yeah, of? I get some oh. ac- apps and zerts, baby. Who says that? Tom Haverford. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I actually really am hungry. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I think we should just kick off this video. So why don't you start off with your number 10, John? All right. So uh, one of the reasons we're doing this, by the way, is because of um, the situation that we're in. I can't say the name of it because sometimes YouTube doesn't like you saying that name, by the way. I noticed that. Um, you must so, not be named. Yeah. So I'm getting, all Voldemort. App, I'm getting a whole lot more uh, apps. I'm playing a whole lot more apps now. How about you, Dean? Uh, yes. I, well, I play a decent amount of apps anyway. Um, yeah. But yeah, I definitely have been playing a lot more lately. Yeah, I definitely have as well. So my number 10 is Steam or Steam Rails to Riches. In Steam, you are putting tiles out onto a virtual board, I guess, if you're playing the app. And basically, you're delivering goods to different cities. But what's interesting is you get points for how many cities. So the longer it takes to deliver a good, the more cities that you touch, the more points you get, but you can use other people's tracks. But if you do, they get victory points instead of you getting victory points. So you want to, it's really interesting puzzle because you're trying to position your, your tracks to where people have to use them um, or you don't have to use other people's. And it's, it's just, it's a Martin Wallace game. I think it's a really fun game. I get on it fairly regularly and play it on the app. Yeah, I'm with you on this one. I've, I've played this, not on my list, but I, I really enjoy this one. I actually haven't played the physical copy, and so this is all I have to compare it to. But there you go. I, I enjoy it. All right, that's my number 10. So my number 10 is a newer app that uh, came out, yeah, not that long ago, but I've gotten several plays of this. It's so beautiful. The board game itself is really beautiful, but Sagrada, you've played Sagrada, the board game, right? I have never played Sagrada. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I've okay. never played it. I've... I don't know why. I just have never played it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that the app was pretty recent. Yeah, yeah, it's not been out that long. And it's a, this is a base, basic dice drafting game. Uh, the one that I quite enjoy, the physical copy of it. Uh, but the, the issue is my wife doesn't love this game. And so I don't get a lot of plays of this one in. So this app, because it's really well done, really gives me that fix that I like. Mm. So anyway, I've really enjoyed Sagrada. I think it's a lot of fun. That's my number 10. All right, so that's your number 10. My number nine is a game that is a classic, pure, straightforward worker placement game. One of my buddies posted about it on Facebook today, said it's my favorite game of all time, maybe. It's one of your favorite worker placement games, Lords of Waterdeep. Uh, yeah. I just, I love having the app of that because it is one of, there are, there are a few, but it's, it, it, it's one of the just straight, forward worker placement games out there that have an app for it and i really like that about it. i like the game it's a really fun game but i like just being able to have that with you'll see on my list there's a, there's at least one or two more that are straightforward worker placement but i love having the app for that i think that it's a really well done app it got, some of the reviews were just okay on it but i've never had problems with the app it's always worked flawless for me uh, great game yeah, I totally agree with this. I love this one. I this might be one of my most played app games actually but uh it might be higher on my list. Okay, I was well. going to say, if this we'll isn't see. on your list, I'll be surprised. <laughs> I'll be stunned. If it was on my list and not yours, there's a problem. <laughs> and I'm coming right. over there. So speaking of which, this is my number nine is going to be one that is going to be on your list as well. And that is Agricola. Uh, originally, I maybe. did not have this one. Probably, <laughs> maybe. Uh, this is one I originally did not have on my list. But you convinced me recently to to replay this game, and it's you told it's me you didn't like the app that much. You said you yeah. like Agricola, but you're like, hey, I don't know if you like the app because I didn't really like the app when I played it. Yeah, I I do now. I think the thing I didn't like about it is having to go back and forth between the screens. Yep. Yep. But then I realized that there's several other games on my list that I absolutely love, and that's why I went back and played this one. I was like, no, actually, this is a, a good implementation of it. The graphics are great. I think it's it's fun. Um, Agricola is not my favorite game in the world, but I, but I still enjoy it. I think it's a sure. lot of fun. This is a fun app. So yeah, I if, if you like this game, I think you, like you do, you'll talk about it. You'll love the, you'll love this version. I think. It may not be on my list, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. Oh, so. it's on your list. I'm calling it right now. <laughs>
<laughs> so my number eight is one of your favorite games of all time. And I know this is way higher on your list, I'm sure. And that's the Castles of Burgundy app. I waited for a long time to download the Castles of Burgundy app because it's like nine bucks. And you're probably surprised it's not higher on my list. It should be higher. This is a great it, app. It's a great, great, it's a, it's a great game. It's a nice implementation, a really nice implementation. Um, it takes a while to play this game. And the, honestly, Dean, when I go up and I look at the rest of my games, I love them. Like these are really like, you know what I mean? So like being number eight matters. Like I've got a lot of what I feel like are great games in this list that takes nothing away from the greatness of the castles of Burgundy. I love it. I think it's really, really good. Yeah. And you'll talk yeah, about it I, later. I'm sure I will. Cause I got a lot better things to say about it. Than it's you not, do. no, it's a great game. It's a, it's a, <laughs> I, I, I recommend it. I mean, if you love castles of Burgundy, it's a wonderful implementation. It's all on one screen. I know you'll probably mention that you don't have to flip back and forth between screens. That's screens. You do, if you want to see your partner or your opponent's screen and see what they're kind of doing a little bit. Yeah. Besides that, you don't have to do a whole lot of that. They, they knocked it out of the park. It's just, um, I just like these other games better, but yeah, it's solid. Still a lot of fun. Yeah, it is nine okay. bucks though, which is a lot for an app. It is that that is a negative for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my number eight is another game that I really love the physical copy of. That is Istanbul, and uh, it's not like I like the app version better than the physical copy. It's just that the the digital version is just so fast, man. You can play a game in like really really quickly, and uh, I just I like the puzzly nature of this one where you're just trying to go around and get rubies and you do that in a lot of different ways and once you look at the board and how it's laid out you're trying to figure out this engine that you're building and uh with with what's out there and i just i really really like this app i this and lords of Waterdeep are are two of my most played apps pretty sure really a lot of fun yeah wow um yeah what game were you just talking about <laughs> Istanbul. Oh my God. Sometimes I wish you listened to me. Dude, no, I was literally, I, I was looking out the window. I thought about my wife doing something. I just had a complete brain lapse. <laughs> the reason I want, I have not played the app and I absolutely want to, because I think it could have, I think it would be awesome actually from what I've seen and it could even make my list. So yeah, it's really well done. What a brain lapse there. All right. Wow. So my, I, did, I didn't listen to anything. That I'm going to look out the window right now while you're talking. So. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's your number eight. My number seven is a classic, one that I stayed away from for a little while because the new implementation of it, I heard a lot of bad things about, but I went ahead and downloaded it. That's Carcassonne. And it's been great. You know, I, I think that there's some issues with some online play and chat and stuff. I haven't tried that. I, I generally don't do that with apps. So think about that um, as I'm, I'm mostly playing solo. Not that I never play with other people. I do sometimes or play online against people I don't know. I don't normally call up Dean and say, let's play the app version. Maybe right. we should do that more. Um, we but should. It, yeah, but Carcassonne, I think it's a great implementation. It's wonderful. Um, five bucks for this app. Um, you do have to pay like, the expansions are kind of expensive. I thought it was kind of weird. They're like three bucks a piece. Some people may, may say that's not that expensive. But I mean, if you're paying five bucks for the app and you want three or four expansions, I'm just saying that to say they don't come with it. So you may be looking at 15 or 20 bucks, you know. Um, but it's a wonderful implementation. I love to play it. It's beautiful. You have, you have this one, I'm sure, right? I yeah. do, yeah. Uh -huh. so I, have, I have a lot of apps, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I'll, Carcass on the app, I play it quite a bit. It's fun. Yeah, fun times. It's not on my list, but it is. Well, or maybe it is. Is it? Dang no. it. I've already given it away. You blew it. Not on my list, but it is a fun game. Okay. Where am I at? Number seven. Number seven. Uh, now, seven was one I considered maybe not putting on the list, but but I did for, for good reason. So this is not one that is a You're phone really version. You're really me on it right now. Well, only because I can't play it I'm on my phone. Kidding. It's yeah. only for iPad uh, and then maybe like other tablets. I'm not sure. So, oh, by the way, I play with an iPhone and an iPad. So um, all the ones I'm talking about are iOS specific. Uh, but this one is Small World. Me too. And I only play with my phone pretty much. I do okay. play the iPad occasionally. I'll pull one out to play a game. It makes it better on some of these games, but most of them iPhone. Small World's probably, a good one. I probably should have said if I just played with my phone, there's several of these that would not be on there, but I'll mention sure. those as we go. Small World's not on the phone. It's only on the iPad or, yep. you know, in Steam. And I just, I really like this one. Now, I wish that they had more of the expansion stuff. Like, they only have the the small expansions. They don't have Underworld or anything like that. Uh, I think I would like it even more if if Underworld was on there. But I just, I think this one's a lot of fun. Graphically, it's beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. the, like the board game itself is, is so beautiful. Yep. And games play very quickly. I am not good at this one. There's a lot of these that I'm not good at. But I think this one I get a, beat, a decent amount. It's just, it's just fun. It's good times. If you like Small World. And I do a lot. 
it's an honorable mention for me. So I was going to mention at the end as an honorable mention. So yeah, I definitely like that one as Very well. Very honorable of you. There you go. That's your number seven. My number six is uh, something to do with, with knuckles. What do you put on your knuckles if you're a mean fella? Knuckling Knights by Haba Games. Is that? You put, knuckle, I love to play with you put my kid. knuckling knights on your hands? No, I'm just saying that's a game that I like to play with my kids. You put brass on your hands, man. When you're brass tough. knuckles. I don't know this one. Whenever you're tough. Brass the board game, Dean. Brass the board game. What does that have to do with knuckles? I was just giving you a hint. So <laughs> brass is a blast. If I want to play a mid to heavy Euro, this is one of my jams on my app, right? I think that brass is a great game. I like brass Birmingham, the, um, the physical copy better, definitely. But if I want to play a mid to heavyweight Euro, brass is wonderful. I'm not going to try to explain it. That'll take too long. Check it out. There we go. I really wish, <laughs> I wish Brass Birmingham was, was the app version of this game. Uh, this one. I do too. I don't, I don't love the app of this one. I think it's, it's fine. It's just one that kind of like steam, like it's okay. And I'll play it on occasion, but um, I would, there's lots of other games hmm. I would rather play. I really like so. it. I, I, there's, I definitely pull it up semi-regularly when I'm, yeah, like I said, I want to think a little harder. Yep. All right. Think. Speaking of thinking harder, my number six is terraforming Mars. That's a, okay. That can be brain burnery, I guess. It's not as thinky as brass, but uh, terraforming Mars. I will. I will make this caveat. If I was just saying uh, phone apps, this would not be on there because I think it's not fun to play on the phone because the cards Can't like read stuff. Yeah. If you know, yeah. If you know the cards well enough that you don't have to read the text on there, then this probably would be fine on the phone. But I, I think specifically I have to use the iPad because I need to be able to read all the cards and know what they all say. Yeah. Um, but I just really like this one. Now, we were talking to our buddy the other day about this, and he was saying that he beats it consistently on hard level against the AI. He's been beat one time, I think, out of like 50 times that he's played it. Um, I'm not that good at it. He's quite uh, the player of board games, though. He is. He, and he's playing for a different reason. Like, he's, he's trying to beat somebody that's really good at this game. Yeah. I'm playing it because I like the game, and I just He wanna... literally is playing it just to get better to beat someone who's really good. That's exactly I don't right. want to win that much. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to win, but I'm not that serious about winning. Yeah, I like it to explore the different cards, like to explore the different strategies and things like that. But I think this one's a lot of fun, and I think it's for this type of game, I think this is a good implementation of it sure. considering like how complex, like having so many cards and the intricacies yeah. of the game, but I like it. Terraforming Mars. Yeah. Because I only play on my phone. I agree with you. I don't like how uh, it just seems kind of small to read and it would just wasn't a super pleasurable experience. Not a bad experience, I guess. Um, actually my, it was not very great experience on my phone, but that yeah. was also when I had a really small phone. So when I had my, that phone, small, I was using a flip phone. Oh, all right, so your number six is Terraforming Mars. <laughs> Almost forgot about it already. Think about that. Uh, I need a new co-host, one that so, listens to me. There you go. So my number five. My number five is a game that uh, I quite enjoy because it goes from olden times to new times, and that is Through the Ages. Through the Ages is another heavy game. Um, what One of the things I really like about it uh, uh, is, I think I mentioned this on the pod, our podcast, is that you can be brutally mean because in a lot of Civ games, they're, they are mean. And like, I can play games where my wife gets mad at me when I'm destroying your stuff. Here, I don't care. I'm playing against a computer. I'm playing against an AI. I'll destroy them. I'll destroy the duders out of them. And I don't care. With my brass knuckles. I'll go ahead and say this, John. You will care when the robot takeover happens and they're coming for you specifically because you have been destroying them. Just think about that. That's... <laughs> Yep, that could happen, actually. Um, yeah. Anyways, I think that Through the Ages app is brilliant. It's great. It's an absolute blast to play. Um, I just love it. I love it. Yep. Yeah, I, I think this one's a lot of fun, too. It would have been it's, – it's outside of my 10, but I, I still really like this one quite a bit. Uh, so we are on number five. five. Mm -hmm. Number five is one that you already mentioned, so I don't have to talk a whole lot about, but that's Lords of Waterdeep. Um, I will say for the same reasons that you said you like it, like it's, it's one of the, the pure worker placements. I've got another one on my list that's higher. That's a worker placement. Uh, but for pure worker placement, it's a lot of fun. I will say you mentioned earlier, you don't often like call up a friend and say, Hey, do you want to play this game? And the app, you version. do that. 
Lords of Waterdeep is the only game that I'll do that for. Uh, I've got a buddy, Steve, and we play this on, on, uh, on there. We'll, we'll chat and, and play this game. But um, I, this is one of my favorite games anyway. I really love War- Lords of Waterdeep, and this just gives me a, a good fix. Uh, my number four is a game that when we did the podcast, it was higher. It was actually my number two. And I'll tell you why it's dropped just a little bit. That is, that's pretty clever. So I think that that's pretty clever is an absolutely fun game. Like it is the reason I like it is because of uh, I can play it on the toilet and I can be done in a couple seconds. I mean, it just takes a few minutes, not a couple seconds, but it takes like five minutes to play a game. And uh, I still am in search of that infamous 300. The reason it dropped a few is that my app glitches. I just got frustrated. You like me talking about toilets and dropping a few? Yeah, that's exactly. I don't. I don't know what we're talking about now. Like, you know, are we talking about the game or? You never know with me. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So if you want to play a game, you just said sitting in private. Like, if, well, if alone. you want to drop a few on the toilet, then you should get gone, Sean clever, gone, Sean clever, clever, gone, Sean clever. clever. Whatever. Um, yes, that uh, is pretty clever. I've, but anyways, so yeah, but it dropped a few because I'll, there will be times where I try to pick up my dice and it doesn't, and I've deleted the app, I've put it back in, and it's not. You know, it's not, yeah, it's not the most pretty app ever, but it's, it's just a bunch of check boxes. I don't know how much better you could make it, but it dropped a little bit because I've gotten frustrated. It doesn't happen that often, but it does. There you go, your turn. That's my number four. So uh, the problem, I've played this game a lot too. The problem is like the dice rolling and the, the randomness of that. You know, sometimes you want a four and then you drop a deuce and, you know, that's, you there like you that? Go. That's good. Is that yeah. too much buildup for that one? Is that? Oh, you got to oh. unclog it. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that's true, though. That's, that's another thing about it. This game does have luck for sure. Uh, mm. The better you get whenever you get towards the end, it's a luck of the dice roll a lot of time, whether you're going to get towards that 300 or stay at 220 or 30 or something like that. So I, I, that's why it's also maybe slipped a little bit, as I've realized more I play it, that there's definitely skill in this game. But to get yep. to that elite level, you're going to have to have some luck. And I've not. I've played this game a lot. And, and actually, the, the randomness doesn't bother me. I just literally was trying to set up a joke. That was the only. you were. Yeah. All right. So. That joke kind of stuck. Yeah. Number. Four. What are we on? Number four uh, is a game that's actually. Okay. When we did this list before, we were talking about digital games in general. So, like, sure. Steam and, and everything. So, my list is different from that quite a yep. bit. Um, uh, the rankings are especially, but this one was not on my list at all because uh, I don't think it was, but I've been playing the app version of Aeon's End recently. Uh, this is a recent acquisition for me. I really like the the card game itself, but I've never played the app version until recently, and the app is fantastic. I really, really like this one. Um, I just think it's it's a lot of fun, and the game itself is fun anyway, but I just think it's, it's implemented really well. Um, it does the upkeep for you. I, I didn't, I didn't do the tutorial to know like if that's helpful or not. Cause I already knew the game well enough and I could just jump into it. But anyway, this one's I've been enjoying quite a bit. You've not played this game at all ever, mm, right? Never played okay. it in my life. Yeah. I don't know if you'd like this one, but I think you need to check it out. Are you done with your talk? <laughs> I was, I was wondering if there would ever be an Aeon's end to your discussion. Oh, hmm. Nailed it. All right, number four, Let's Aeon's see. in. So my number three is a recent, speaking of recent acquisitions, by the way, if you listen to our podcast, I hadn't played Castles of Burgundy, the app. Obviously, I played the physical copy a million times, but I hadn't played the app. And I also hadn't played this game on the app, but played the physical copy a bunch of times. And that is a game Dean already talked about. That's Agricola. I love the Agricola app. I love it, love it. I've played it for like a month now, and I think it is a blast. I think it's a beautiful inf- implementation. I like how we have like the city, the village, I mean, that you feel like you're, instead of just going to a worker placement stop, like on, it, it, it's spot on a, a physical board, it actually is cool. It brings to life. It's one of those, you know, some of the apps really bring board games to life, and this one does that, and it is awesome. Now, with this, that being said, here's a caveat. If you, I oftentimes download board games to learn them or to decide whether I want to buy the physical copy. I do that all the time. Like, huh, I wonder if I want to get a physical copy. I think this is, this game is tough, I think, to learn how to play Agricola on. I think Agricola is not that complex, but I remember even when I downloaded after playing the physical copy, a lot of times I was going, what? You have to skip around to different screens quite a bit. 
it's a cool like town thing. But for whatever reason, I remember thinking I would never tell someone if they hadn't played the physical copy and honestly didn't know it decently well. I don't know if the app would be that fun for them. But if you do know it well, it's a brilliant app and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with those things. Now, I, I do think that moving around, like not just back and forth between screens, but you have to actually move over to those spots as they open up. That is kind of annoying. I kind of wish that I there was the option, uh, the option to have that like more full screen. So everything's there. Yeah. But it looks pretty the way it is now. It looks pretty. Yeah, that's all that combined, not seeing everything we're just laying out there and stuff. That's why I say, like, if you don't know the game well, it, it can be frustrating. I played pretty poorly the first couple of times because I just didn't remember to scroll. You know what I mean? Or I just was honestly maybe being lazy. Like, oh, let's just make a decision. So, anyway. Yeah. Number three, though, really like it. So my number three, all the things you just said about, about Agricola, I could say to the max about – Terra Mystica, which is my number three. Um, you have, oh gosh, I probably should have counted this. I'm not going to pull it up, but probably like, okay, so you have your main screen, which is the board, but then when you want to see everything else, there's like seven, probably seven different tabs oh. that you would have to pull up. Um, and so if you don't know Terra Mystica, I would say this is probably not going to be one of your favorites. You'd probably hate it. But if you know Terra Mystica and you want to get a fix, I think the app is really well done. Probably the best that you could do it for such like a, sure. a sprawling game. Yeah. Um, uh, Board Game Arena, I mentioned this before. I know we're not talking about that. Board Game Arena is actually a probably a better implementation because of that. You can see everything like in front of you. Yeah. Uh, but for an app version of a game that you know, if you know Terra Mystica, I, I recommend checking this one out because I think it's a lot of fun. Yep. I have not played that app, so there you go. All right, that's your number three. My number two is a game. Now, I almost flipped this with uh, Agricola. And almost for – but it, the reason I, I – this is a great game, La Havre. Let's just go there first. La Havre, the app, is fantastic. However, on my phone, there's a lot going on, like the board. And so it's not the easiest on a phone. It's much better on an iPad to – to see where you're putting your workers, where workers are going to go and to see all the cards and to see all the cards that you have and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but with that being said, I learned Lahav on the app and liked it so much that I bought the physical copy and it's one of my favorite games of all time. Lahav is just fantastic to me. I love that game. If you love the game, I think the app's done really well. Um, and if you don't, I think it's a place that you could learn the game. I do it just stinks that, you know, the games that have big boards are just tough to kind of see on your screens and stuff, but it's still an amazing app, and I love it. Love. Yeah, this is one I have, and I, I enjoy this one. I think I need to know the game of this better. I think you do. That's what, really I'm kind of, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm kind of saying. I think that if you know it really well, then you really will like the app. And if you don't, like my score went from – you know, like an eight-ish just playing the app to over nine after playing the physical copy. So it really just it, it opened the game up for me a whole lot yeah. more. So that's my number two. Yep, that's a fun game. And uh, back-to-back uh, Rosenbergs for you as well. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That is, that's accurate. Is that surprising? <laughs> uh, no, it's not surprising at all. <laughs> um, so my number two is you've already talked about it's Castles of Burgundy. I will just uh, add a few things. One, this is a top, like, top 10 game for me, close to my like five. I really love this game. I think this should be a model for how other board game apps could be because there, there is a lot going on in this game. Like there's like physically there's a big, it takes up a pretty sure. big footprint. Right. But with the app, you have everything you need on one screen. It changes the way everything looks like it doesn't look exactly the way the board game looks because they're not trying to recreate that look. They're trying yeah. to make something that's, that's really approachable from an app perspective. And I think they crushed it because you have this circular screen and everything just has the, you know, you have these little tabs, but when you click on them, they stay in that same screen. You're not like yeah. scrolling, you know, going back and forth. So I love this one a lot for a game that I already love a lot anyway. So yeah, that's really Castles good. of Burgundy. Really good. All right. That's your number two. And I've already talked about it again. I like it a lot. So my number one is another recent acquisition now, I talked about how much I liked it on Board Game Arena on our podcast, but then I down and I think I said, I should really download the app. And I am certainly glad I did, Mr. Dean Dunning, because Seven Wonders, the app, is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. And that, 
It, and that's another toilet game. Ugh. Please, please, please don't. Because do you can play it. Because you can play the, a Seven <laughs> Wonders game on even online against other people in like five minutes. And, and, and all joking aside, like I – not just toilet. Like, I mean, you can be waiting to get your hair cut. You know what I mean? You can be, which is very, not, not many of us are doing at this moment, but you can be waiting to get your hair cut or at the dentist office or something like that. And you're like, yeah, I just want to play a quick game. Boom. You can nail it. It keeps all your stats and stuff online, which I really, really like. Um, and it's just, it's a blast. It's, it's a, it's fun, man. I, I like, I like, I like having my longer euros and stuff, but when it really comes down to, uh, that's why uh, that's pretty clever is really high as well. I, I I tend to gravitate towards those types of games that I can play really really quick. Tend to be the ones I play more often. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's really something like Agricola, but I'm going to play this way more often. That's why it's number one. Yeah, there's something to be said about games that you can play in one sitting with an app, yeah. like in a very fast sitting and like multiple times. Um, this one is not on my list, but I but I get it, and I really enjoy this one as well. There's just I I like a lot of different app games, but this and Seven Wonders Duel are both a lot of fun for that very reason. So yeah, I love yeah. it. And, and I would probably I prefer Seven Wonders to Seven Wonders Duel. So yeah, me too. If uh, you don't have the Seven Wonders app, it's probably I think it was like five bucks. Totally worth it for the base. Worth game. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, my number one is uh, a game. I don't think you have this one, but I think you would really like this I know one. exactly what it is. Do you? You want to guess? That's right. I think that's right. Yeah, Raiders. Look at that, North sea. right there. You don't have this app, do you, John? No, and I can't get everything in the box. This is... I need this to is buy a game. Bigger box. I, this is a game I like anyway, right? I think Raiders was... Uh, pretty sure it was a top 50 game for me in general which i guess probably several of these are but it's a game that i love anyway it is the most beautiful app ever it's it just looks so good but the thing i really like about it one it, i like the game and the way they implement it is is really well done but this one has a campaign mode which tweaks the rules a little bit and so you it doesn't it, it doesn't become stale like mm. you're playing a, a new game every time if you go through that campaign i play the the regular game often on it too but the campaign i just think is a lot of fun so like you can it might say that you you're we're adding these new cards that benefit you if you're getting gold at outpost or something and there's more yeah. gold in the out you know so I, I just like that i think it's it keeps it fresh and i like when games do that the app versions of games do that where it's not just a direct port but they're actually making some changes that that keep the game fresh i like when they do campaign modes and stuff that's with Istanbul, this would be one of the ones that you've got on your list that I really would love to play. But this is another, what, $9, $10 game? It is so, pricey, yes. Mm -hmm. So was Castles of Burgundy. That was a pricier one, too. Yeah. And actually, on my list, I believe Through the Ages is like that as well. So it's I could be right. wrong. But anyway, not saying, not, I'm not saying it's not worth it by any stretch. I just Because of that, I haven't downloaded it. But I'd like to play it. Because I don't play apps all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it That's is it, a lot man. of fun. I like it. That is our top 10 apps. Any any other honorable mentions? You mentioned a couple. But yeah, I mentioned um, I mentioned Small World. Baseball Highlights has been kind of fun. The, yes. the, it's an ugly app. It's a hideous app. But, you know, honestly, the board game is not attractive either now that I think about it. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, Isle of Sky is a fun app. And, yep. uh, and that's a beautiful app. And San yes. Juan is one that I play semi-regularly. That was really close to making the list. Um, because it's got the Puerto Rico feels much quicker. And yep, I quite like that one. Yeah, both of those. Stone Age is another but that that I would add on here. Um, I don't have the Stone Age. See. I had a few I had a few other ones listed. The um Jaipur, they have that campaign on that one as well. That one's I don't have that app. I need to download it. I think I would actually quite enjoy. Yeah, the campaign on that one's really well done, I think, too. The um uh oh goodness, I just forgot which one I was gonna I was going to mention. Oh, well, just, while you're thinking, I did for 99 cents download uh, Alhambra the other day. And, you know, it's not the most beautiful thing, but I actually have been having fun playing that. I wouldn't oh, yeah. say it's an honorable mention. I just it was on my mind. It is fun. I think if you like Pandemic, that one's really well done. I did One I was going to say, Scythe was on my other list that we had done for the podcast. Um, the reason why it's not on here, because I don't think the Scythe app is available yet. I had the beta version of it. It's not. Um, but I, I 
it's not is that what you said not that i don't think so no yeah so that would have made my list because i've i've played that one a lot in in beta i think that one's a lot of fun uh that's i think that's pretty much it that's i've it. got a lot of santorini's a lot of fun too there's a lot of really good apps yep yep all, all right. right so that is going to do it tell people how they can get in touch with us so if you're enjoying our channel, please subscribe to it or and uh, go ahead and click on that bell for notifications for when we come out with new videos. We have a podcast we mentioned several times here that is Meeple Town. Just search Meeple Town on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, all that stuff. You can go check our website, meepletowngames.com. We're at Meeple Town Games on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. This, lo- this just keeps getting longer and longer. And we are Board Game Geek Gale 3407. Seven. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meepletown Games and connect with us on the Meepletown Guild, guild number 3407, at boardgamegeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown. <laughs>